And hey, look who's here. Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Doing great, doing amazing. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have here the one and only also fit Mr. John Abraham. And we also have with us the marketing director, Hershey India Private Limited, Mr. Saro Shetty. Welcome, John. Thank you very much for being here. I uh, request you to please take a seat quickly. All right, Sarosh, over to you. Uh, can you talk to us about the association of Sofit and Dishoom? Thanks so much. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome. So welcome. Thank you, firstly, for, for being here with us. Um, Hershey's health beverage brand, the energy pack SoFit is proud to associate itself with uh, the action pack Dishoom. SoFit, as you know, has always been synonymous with a healthy and active lifestyle. Given that it's power packed with soy proteins, omega-3, vitamins, calcium, and a lot more. It's cholesterol free, it gives you the energy to do more. It gives you the energy to keep going on and on. So we thought associating with Dishoom was a perfect fit for us. So Dishoom is about John and his committed team fighting against all odds to accomplish a critical mission in 36 hours. They had no respite, and they had to have the energy to go on and on. We're happy to be associated with the Shum. So we at SOFIT wish the Shum all the best. Uh, we, we look forward to a great partnership. And we're sure the Shum will be a big success. Um, so, so I guess that's all for now. I'm sure you're waiting to hear from John, so I'm going to hand over to the incredible John. John, as you know, um, is the best person to speak about SOFIT. Yeah, and I... about SOFIT's association with this room. Uh, John's been associated with SOFIT for a very long time, and I must say this before John starts. Uh, he's an embodiment of the SOFIT philosophy, of leading the active, healthy, energetic lifestyle. So here's over to John. Uh, the incredible John. Uh, I'm sure all of you are waiting to hear from him. Hi, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, a very big thank you that uh, all of you are here. Uh, Sarosh, thank you for the kind words. And uh, just want you to know that uh, we, uh, I personally, am uh, very honored to be a brand ambassador of SoFit simply because uh, I lead a healthy lifestyle. And for all you guys, this is uh, soya milk, and soya milk is uh, fantastic. It's healthy. It's got, like Saroj said, it's got protein, dietary fiber, minerals, omega-3, you name it, calcium. It's got everything that you need for a complete meal. And um, the beauty of uh, this is that it's Hershey's, so obviously it's bound to be tasty, and you're really going to enjoy the taste. But more importantly, uh, I'd like, really like to thank uh, Sofit for associating with my film, Dishum, uh, which stars me, Varun, and um, Jacqueline. And um, they've really put uh, their heart behind this film, and uh, they've really supported us as brand partners on this film. And uh, it means a lot to me, as a brand ambassador uh, of Sofit, that uh, my brand, which I proudly call my brand, has decided to support my film. And um, the only way I can repose that faith back, Sarosh, is by uh, making sure that uh, Dishum is a hit. And that uh, I'm sure you guys will see that uh, tomorrow. And I hope all of you enjoyed as much as uh, I am going to enjoy it today, because I haven't yet seen the film. So, <laughs> um, so thank you once again, and good job. Thank you so much for welcoming us so nicely. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you to um, all the contestants here for actually having um, come here. We really appreciate uh, 
the effort you take and it means a lot to all of us. So thank you to each one of you and the media that has been actually very quiet and subdued for a change and thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, you're lovely. And um, we've, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> so it's, a, it's been a fantastic experience uh, promoting this film. Uh, it's been a greater experience uh, endorsing and being the embodiment of uh, SOFIT. And uh, I'd like to, and SOFIT and I, and uh, you know, we've got massive plans to continue this, um, this health journey and take it to another level. So each one of you, because I can see most of you here are beautiful, handsome, fit, everyone out here, and lovely smile, and you know, all of you. So I just uh, hope you all understand that, uh, you know, when I speak, I'm not just speaking as someone who endorses this brand. I actually believe in this brand. And when I tell you it's good, I mean it's good. Okay, where fitness is concerned. Otherwise, I really wouldn't be sitting here and talking about it. I'd probably be endorsing an aerated drink. So it's important that uh, you do understand where I'm coming from. And uh, thank you once again uh, to each one of you. And uh, I leave the floor open to all of you. Thank you so much, John. And thank you so much, Mr. Sarosh Shetty. I think uh, it's time for us to throw the floor open to the members of the media for any questions that you have for John. So uh, I think we have a mic floating around. And of course, we have one hand up there for now. That's a lot of questions, huh, by the way. <laughs> All right, can we have a mic for that gentleman right there? You are incredible. Of course, he is right. So what's your uh, idea of uh, remaining fit? Why are you so fit? What's the philosophy of your remaining fit? Where are you, sir? I don't see you. Oh. It's right there. Yeah, hi. Um, I think uh, I don't uh, get fit for a film. I've always been fit from my from my first film, Jism. And um, uh, for me, uh, fitness is, I always say it's a way of life. It's not a phase in life. Um, for me, um, for me, um, you know, just getting a, a, a six pack is not important, but just being uh, wholly fit and uh, leading a good lifestyle and being a role model to, to all of you sitting here is, is very important. So I think uh, I like that. I'm very passionate about that. I'm passionate about sport. I'm passionate about fitness. I'm passionate about outdoor activities. I've said this uh, once. Uh, I'm a very physical person and I like being physical. I like uh, running around. I like uh, getting dirty in the mud. And um, I, I just like enjoying outdoor sports. And I think in a day today where, um, uh, you know, social media uh, is so important, but the unfortunate part is that people only do that. People have stopped going out. People have become couch potatoes. No one really gets out. So I'd encourage each one of you to actually go take an outdoor sport, an outdoor activity, really go out there and, and, and really get yourselves into fantastic shape. And shape doesn't mean Having a six-pack shape means leading a good lifestyle. And you must think clean in your head and you'll be fantastic. And John, can just speak up something about your da daily uh, fitness routine? How much time you just uh, spend in the gym and how much time like... Um, I just you... killed it in the gym and I've come. I freaking killed it. And uh, that's how I, I work out. I work out really hard. And uh, I work out uh, five or six days a week. And uh, by gym, I just don't mean lifting weights. I do a lot of core exercises and uh, I eat right. Very important. Diet is very, very important. And um, that's been my life. I've not had a cheat day. I've always said it. And somewhere someone asked me and they said, how ridiculous, you've not had a cheat day. And I said, that, listen, that's my way of life. I don't, I think uh, having a cheat day is meant for people who want to cheat, who are weak. So you need to be tough. You need to be strong. You can't uh, forgive yourself for for having french fries for example you know or for having something uh, that your body does not need and think about what i said when you walk out of here and please feel guilty if you eat some crap okay no one's going to eat crap from today i think they already do i can see a lot of smile on faces when you said french fries i think i think a lot of smiles just disappeared yeah. <laughs> 
including mine. All right, I think we have another gentleman seated there, right at the back. Can we please pass the mic to him? Uh, hi, uh, I have a mic. Uh, sure. Hi, John, this is Sohail. Uh, yeah. Hi, Baba. Uh, film ke promotion, ke liye, you know, you have to put lots of sweat in it. Like, you know, daily you go for you go for promotion, city tours and all those things. So sometimes, does it really become very hectic? Like, you know, maybe just tomorrow the film is releasing and till now you're promoting the film, actually. How do you see this entire thing? Act? So I think, uh, I think at the end of the day, a good film will work. You can promote as much as you want, but if your film's not good, uh, the audience uh, smells it out, it's, it won't work. Uh, I think promotion is important to an extent. I don't think you need to um, go all over the place, go all out. And I think in the last five or six days, uh, uh, Varun, me and Jacqueline have been uh, really aggressive. We've been promoting this film. And I think um, Varun's uh, finally fallen ill. Okay, it was me in the uh, two weeks ago, and he was boasting about not falling ill. And finally, I think he's uh, down with sickness. Uh, Jacqueline's not been well for the longest time because when you travel and viral in the air, it's not easy. And um, I, I'm, I'm not joking again, I swear. Yesterday, I was in Ahmedabad, and uh, the only thing I had was Sofit because I think it's become synonymous wherever I go, um, you know, I see Sofit, and the only thing I told Sarosh is. Distribution bought acha. It's fantastic. You know, it's everywhere. I think more people should have it. But coming back to promotion, I think we've given it our all. And um, I, uh, what I hear is uh, everybody's been seeing us everywhere. And we hope, uh, uh, you know, it all translates into ticket sales. Uh, John, as like we just heard it, like, you know, Jacqueline and Varun were also supposed to come for this event. And the very end moment, this thing got cancelled. So do you feel so they were so fit, they were a little misfit actually? Oh. I think, uh, yeah, I think you're probably right. I, 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 I think, uh, no, honestly, uh, uh, Barun and Jacqueline, to give them credit, have they've been fantastic in promotions. So I'm not going to take anything away from them. But finally, yesterday, we landed late night from Ahmedabad. I promise you, uh, they've, they're gone. They're finished. And the only guy who has energy to do more is me right now. And we yeah. all know why, yeah? <laughs> so, so I'm going to go on and on and on, okay? And uh, that's fantastic for everyone. All so, right, ladies and gentlemen, we have time for only two more questions. So please John, raise your hands up so we can get the mic to you. All right, there you go. John, uh, it's amazing to see how, like, the show has associated with Sofit. So, you have seen Sofit in the movie, Sofit, Peter, with the show? No, so this was our conscious decision that this is the blatant in film branding. Uh, at least I as an actor and me as a producer, uh, we wanted to avoid that and all credit to Sajid also. He said, listen, and Rohit Havan, my director, didn't want any blatant in-film branding. So we have avoided that. But uh, I really appreciate what Sofit has done because they've, uh, they've really had a massive and an aggressive media plan to spend behind this film simply because they believe that, you know, you have three of probably uh, the most fittest actors, you know, uh, in the industry all together in one film. The film has got, is action packed. So if it is about the energy to do more. So, you know, what's a better association? So they've decided to associate and we've done promos for this post the film. Uh, hi, John. Uh, what are the things you look for before endorsing any product or a brand? And will you ever endorse something which is unhealthy, like an alcoholic brand or a cigarette brand? Um, no, I, I, I've said that before. Uh, what do I look for? I look for the fact that can I use this brand? Am I really using this brand? And um, if I honestly use this brand, then I would endorse it. Uh, the thing is, uh, and I understand how celebrities work, we endorse everything for, for money. But I, would, I have, in my entire career, I've never succumbed to that. I don't even, uh, and I say this on record, I don't... I don't go for any marriages and all those shows and all where you... I mean, I don't do all that because I believe that my art is my religion. It's my profession and it's sacred. And I think I'm meant to perform on the big screen and nowhere else. So uh, there are certain things that principally I don't do even if I lose all the money in the world or I don't make money. So the same for brands. I will not endorse any cigarette brands, definitely. In fact, in Dishum, uh, I'm smoking. I'm saying this on record. I'm smoking. I went to my director and I said, I can't smoke. It's bad. It's not right. He said, read the script. I read the script 
and smoking is an integral part of the film and Kabir Shergill's character smokes. So I go on record and I say I do not endorse smoking and I would like for the youth to know that if we fire guns or we do wheelies, one second, sir, you talk about it. You talk about it, right? You know, so when we do all this, it doesn't mean that you have to do it in, in real life. And um, I stick by that. So whether it's, a, you know, alcohol or cigarettes, I really wouldn't endorse it, except if maybe a particular brand, I'm, I'm just thinking aloud, is associated with sport and they're doing great CSR activity in sport. But that definitely won't be a cigarette brand. John, all right, we have time for one last question. Hi, this is Shanti. I wanted to know, uh, there are a few truths and myths about soya milk. So is it something that you can have any time of the day? Or is it only something you can have during or post-workout? So soya milk generally, uh, uh, so I know what the myths are, uh, especially with men. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to get into the, the details of exactly, uh, let's not uh, dwell deep in, because I can give you an entire lecture for 24 hours on it. But yeah, if had in limitation and no one's saying have, um, you know, 40 cans of soya milk, et cetera. But what's healthier, having a, you know, having some sh sugar full, you know, some drink that has a lot of sugar in it or, or having a great soya drink. And I'd always say it's better to have a soya drink. So to answer your question, do you have it just post your workout? You can have it 20 minutes post your workout because you need food for your muscle tissues. And soya milk does give you that kind of food. But can you have it at any time of the day? Well, if you're high on activity and you're burning your calories, you could consume it. And there's absolutely uh, no reason why you should not. But anything in excess is not great. So that's, that's something I stick by. And we really don't endorse that. We never really endorse that. And we say soya milk is great. And it should be had at opportune times. John, as right, you said, like, uh, you're a, a non-smoker. Really uh, one one last question. Time, sir. Uh, I John, you said as if you're, you're a non-smoker. How hard it was, you know, during the shoot, like you had to smoke. Uh, could you say something about With it? Rohit Dhawan, it was very hard because he used to take 40 takes. <laughs> so when you're, when you're smoking, I had to stop and I said, Rohit, my throat's hurting. Just give me a break. Uh, it is hard. I've done it before. I've done it in no smoking. I've done it in Ashae. So I have smoked before in, in films. I've done it in shootout at Vadala. Uh, but uh, it's something that I, I don't have an addictive personality. So the minute I, my shoot gets over, that's it, it's over. I don't, I would never touch it. And uh, as far as drinks are concerned, uh, I have, uh, this is a secret, I have jaggery with, uh, jaggery put in water, which looks like drink, which looks like a drink if I have to drink in a scene. And that's fantastic during your workout, guys. Oh, wow. It's fantastic. That so I'm actually is. working out when I'm doing a drunk scene. That is. Honey is great. Natural sugar. Honey, jaggery, fantastic. Outstanding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, it's a wrap. John, thank you so much for answering all the questions. As we all are very aware, SoFit ran a contest online, which was Dishoom with SoFit. And we're very happy to have the winners in this room right now. So, John, I'm going to call all the winners sure, here sure. so that they can quickly meet you. I'm going to cross over quickly uh, to get the names of them. I request uh, the winners to come on stage as I call your name out. Our first winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Romy Desai. Romy, where are you? All right, let's give her a round of applause. All right, our next winner, Pinky Dholakya. Pinky, are you in the room? All right, there she is, Pinky. Make your way quickly to John. Just Randhava, our next winner. Oh, there he is. Chirag Arora. Chirak Arora, there he is. Siddharth Kumar, Siddharth, can we have you here, please? Siddharth Kumar. 
All right, so that's not in the room. Move on to Sachin Chaurasia. Sachin, wherever you are, can you come here? I don't think Sachin's in the room either. All right, Sachin is there. All right, that's, that's Chirag. Shubham Gautam. Shubham's there too. Deepa, Deepa, wherever you are, it's time for you. We're having a photo of Earth outside right after this. So if you want to say, I'm going to be a photo of Earth. All right, I'm going to request John to move outside the room for the photo of Earth. Closer, 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 closer,